Dozens of climbers, 25,000 square meters of recyclable cloth and three kilometers of red rope. One of Paris's most recognizable monuments, the Arc de Triomphe, is being transformed into a shimmering artwork. The creation of Bulgarian artist Christo, who first imagined wrapping the Napoleon-era arch 60 years ago, but died last year before seeing his dream become reality. His nephew Vladimir is overseeing the project. It means already many different things to many different people. And when it's wrapped and becomes a work of art, it would add another meaning. But also what's going to be amazing is with the fabric, it would have this sensuality, this fragility. It would become something different that people want to touch it. You can see the wind in it. Christo was born in Bulgaria in 1935. As a young man, he fled communist rule for Paris, where he met Jean-Claude, his wife, an artistic collaborator, until her death in 2009. The couple wrapped dozens of buildings, monuments and even islands. In 1985, they worked on Paris's Pont Neuf, but the Arc de Triomphe remained their goal. The artists believe that by wrapping the Arc de Triomphe, it would reveal what they called its essence and draw people's attention to its beauty. Throughout their career, the couple said that their aim with their work was to bring people joy. Because it's a temporary installation, it's a unique and intense experience. Christo and Jean-Claude wrapped monumental projects in urban areas. There are three weekends factored in so as many people as possible can see it. It's like the artist's gift to the public. Christo sold his drawings to fund his projects. He said financial independence was essential to his vision. Despite the scale of the work, Vladimir says the technical aspect and logistics are not his biggest hurdle. The biggest challenge for me is that Christo is not here anymore. So it's, uh, of course we miss him, I miss his enthusiasm, his criticism, his excitement. A symbol of France and backdrop for military parades, celebrations and protests. The Arc de Triomphe will be an artwork for 16 days. Daring and intriguing, some will admire it, others will find it pointless. But in Christo's world, creating the unnecessary was the ultimate expression of freedom. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.